In today's video, we're doing the 2008 Boston Celtics, the last Celtics championship team. First up is Paul Pierce. He was the 2008 Finals MVP. He's known as the truth, and he's known as the destroyer of bathrooms. Paul Pierce can give you 30 on any given night. You know what I'm saying? He was drafted by the Celtics in the late 90s, and he's the only one besides... Um, Kendrick Perkins and Rajon Rondo, we'll get to him later, to be drafted by the squad before the Big Three came in. Because before the Big Three, they were a mediocre playoff team. They, I mean, they made the um, playoffs in um, 2002 all the way to the conference finals. But the, the reason why Paul Pierce is clowned so much is because of this moment right here. I mean, he faked um, like a little knee sprain. I, I mean, not really faked it, but he was just over-exaggerating it just so he could go to the bathroom because he had to use the bathroom. Well, really, Kendra Perkins wrapped his um his head and his um arm around Paul Pierce's head. R.P. Kobe. So this 08 Celtics team is special, and it wouldn't have happened without Paul Pierce. But here is my question. If Paul Pierce had a knee sprain, why was he over-exaggerating it? Because he told us that he had to use the bathroom. And basically, he probably broke all them pipes at the TD Garden because um, TD Garden don't have them strong toilets. Next up is KG, Hall of Fame Minister Society. He was the Defensive Player of the Year. He's a Hall of Fame instigator. But besides that, he was a bad man on the court. He was a mean man. He didn't have many friends. He didn't have many friends at all. He could block his shot, take um, take the life out of your team whatsoever. Because Kevin Garnett, he wasn't a nice person. You know what I'm saying? We've heard some stories about um, Kevin Garnett going a little bit too far. You know what I'm saying? Being a bit of an asshole. Um, other than that, KG was the heart and soul of that Celtics team. Because without Kevin Garnett, there'd be no championship. I mean, without any of the big three, there'll be no championship. You know what I'm saying? Because KG will put you in your place and make you cry if he has to. That's what I'm saying. He'll get in your head, too. Opponents don't like that, but your team does. You know what I'm saying? And next up, we have Rajon Rondo. He's the assist leader. And also, he's a Franklin the Turtle in, um, impersonator. I'm just kidding. And also, um, Rondo, he's a hothead. He's going to get in the scraps if he has to. You know what I'm saying? Um, ask Chris Paul. Because Rondo will pick fights with anybody on, on any given night for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, because Rondo's about that life. Because you're a mess with Rondo. And the reason why I have so much respect for Rondo, because he stood on business, even though, like, he said he led that team to the championship. But anywho, moving on. Ray Allen. Jesus Shuttlesworth, and he's had two different tenures before Boston. He was um, trying to save the Seattle Supersonics um, team from failure, which that failed. And he played for the Milwaukee Bucks where they got to the 0-1 Conference Finals. You know what I'm saying? That was before Giannis. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, Ray Allen is second in all-time three-point field goals made before he was surpassed by Mr. Wardell Curry. And then Ray Allen left in 2012 and the Celtics have not recovered whatsoever. Will And that will do it. Will the Celtics win another championship? this year and not end up like the 04 Pistons or will the Celtics continue to struggle and continue to suffer for the next 100 million years which will which will probably not even be alive I don't think they'll take down long for them to win a championship I still got them like in like two to three years they'll win a championship you know what I'm saying if the whole core could stay healthy Stay tuned for the next episode.